By this point in your nursing education, you have probably searched Sinol at least a few times, or at least you have heard of Sinol. So what is it anyway? Well, Sinol stands for the Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature, and now you know why everyone just calls it Sinol. This is one of the best databases to search when you're looking for nursing-related information. It has a little over 600 full-text journals, plus it indexes a total of 3,000 additional journals. Coverage goes back to the 1980s. This isn't nearly as far back as PubMed, but it's usually plenty for what most of us need. For my example search in CINAHL, I'm going to look for information about nurse-to-nurse -nurse bullying, otherwise known as lateral violence. This isn't a type of search that really lends itself to a thorough evidence base, mainly because it's a bit more qualitative than quantitative. But I thought it would be a good example that some of these searches can get a bit fuzzy. It does create a pretty pico, but we'll see how strong the evidence is out there on this topic. Spoiler alert, I've done this search a lot of times before, and there's not a great deal of high-level evidence on this topic. Okay, we're going to start our search of CINAHL here at that nursing subject guide, and it's on just the very top link for the best bets to find what you need. If you're on campus, it will go right into CINAHL just like that. If you're searching from off campus, you will be asked to put in your ISU ID and also your last name to get in here. And then after that, searching will be just like normal. CINAHL is one of the many, many EBSCO databases we have. This is very handy since once you know how to search one EBSCO database, you can pretty much search them all. You can even search many at the same time. I caution against this as you lose the ability to use the special features of each database, and CINAHL has some features that are super helpful. So let's get to it. With all of these databases, you can make the search as basic or as advanced as you want. I'm going to start with basic. The topic I've chosen to research is on nurse-to-nurse -nurse bullying, and I know that a common term for this is lateral violence, so that's what I'm going to type in. Now, you will see a lot of options underneath the search box. The two I'm going to point out are the handy peer-reviewed checkbox and the publication type. When looking for evidence-based articles, the publication type is extremely useful because you can specify that you want to find just articles that are higher up on the evidence triangle, like, let's go down to it, systematic reviews. Don't select either of these options right away. Let's just run a broad search first just to see what's out there. Your particular topic might not have a systematic review written on it. That's just the way it goes sometimes. You do want to find the highest evidence available. So without any kind of a limiter, I'm going to start my search. Hmm, just 71 articles. That's not a lot, especially when I haven't even applied the peer review limiter yet. Well, maybe there are other terms I should be using. Let's see what these articles use. So you want to look for a citation that has subjects listed. So what I can see are the titles, authors, and now you're looking for subjects. That article number three, lateral violence in nursing, has some subjects listed. So I'm going to jump into that. You will see we get more details on this particular article when we bring it up. The one that I'm looking for in particular is the subject area. Subject headings in any database are going to be your friends, so use them well. These are assigned to an article by a subject matter expert or a librarian, and they're a great way to search. CINAHL calls their subject headings CINAHL headings, and you can even search them, but more on that later. Before we start using the subjects to search, notice in the journal subset that this has peer review listed. Hooray! We haven't even checked it yet, but this is actually a peer reviewed journal. So we have a couple of subjects that it looks like will work for what I'm looking for, bullying and nurses. You can search on the subject just by clicking on it. So I'll click on bullying, and that's going to bring up everything in the CINAHL database that's about bullying. In this case, that's 1,573 articles. That's a lot, and it's not specific to nurses. This is specific to any kind of bullying. So we want to go back to our original record and select the nurses subheading. Not surprisingly, when you search nurses in a nursing database, it brings up a ton of articles, 21,000. Again, now we have lost the whole bullying aspect. Now let's combine bullying with nurses. 
EBSCO databases make combining your terms easy through this lovely feature they call their search history. You can select just the searches you want and you can combine them. So in this case, I have the search of bullying and I have the search of nurses. So all I need to do is check the check boxes next to my searches and then you get to choose how you want to search them. You either search with AND or you search with OR. When you search with AND you are combining your searches so I'm asking CINAHL to look for articles that have both bullying and nurses. If I chose the OR I'd be asking CINAHL to look for articles that have bullying or nurses. That makes the search huge. When you search with AND, your search gets smaller. And that's what you're going to use almost always. So I'm going to search with AND. 111 articles. That's still not a ton, but more than just looking at lateral violence. Now we still have the lateral violence search in there, so let's throw that in. Why not? And I can also show you how to do use the OR when we do this. So I'm going to select lateral violence, and I'm going to combine it with this search for which combined the bullying and the nurses. This time I'm going to use OR because I want it to search the lateral violence search or the nurses and bullying. That will make my search bigger. Alright, we're up to 174. So that is good. Now you can either browse through a few pages of the results, look through the subject headings to see if something more relevant comes up, or you can start applying limits. To apply limits to a CINAHL search, you can come back up here to where the search history is and you just click on Edit on your most recent search. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the peer-reviewed. and We'll see how that narrows the search. And you click Save. Alright, now we're down to 131. So that didn't limit it that much. Let's get back into this search and add systematic reviews and see if anything comes up. Remember that's under publication type. And then we'll click Save. Oh my goodness, okay, so that went from 150 down to 5. <laughs> that's not very many at all. Definitely too narrow of a search. But like I said, some of these search topics are not going to have a lot of systematic reviews or any systematic reviews at all. It's just that sometimes I like to see what is out there that's on the top of the research triangle. It's important to know that library research is a process and you'll almost never have the perfect search from the get-go. The next step is to go through the articles, read the abstracts, and save the ones you want to read in depth. We'll analyze them later. Okay, I want to do one last search before we leave CINAHL. I want to show you how to use the CINAHL subject headings. This can make your search so much faster and specific to just what you want. I'm going to change my topic a bit to one that best demonstrates the power of using the CINAHL headings. I want to know what evidence-based strategies are out there to prevent falls in hospitalized patients. So I'm going to go up to the CINAHL headings link right up here at the top and I'm just going to type in falls, which is the term that I'm thinking of. This may or may not match what CINAHL is thinking. Okay, CINAHL says that the actual term is accidental falls, and I think that makes sense. To select it, you just click on the checkbox, and when you do that, it brings up subheadings. Now this is why I love working with CINAHL headings because you can choose a particular aspect of a topic to really help narrow it down and focus on just what you want. So again, I'm looking at how to prevent falls in hospitalized patients. So the best subheading would be prevention and control. So this changed my search over here to accidental falls with the little dash PC, which stands for prevention and control. You are working with CINAHL. You work from the left to the right. So I've selected my search. I can choose if I want to narrow it to a major concept of the article. I choose whatever subheadings I like. And then from here you can jump in and search the database. But there's still one more concept we need to look at because we want to focus on in patients, not just accidental falls anywhere they may happen. And to do that, you come down to the bottom of the screen and you select Browse Additional Terms. So I'm going to type in inpatients and click Browse. Okay, there is the inpatients. You check the box. You move your way right. I don't really want to focus on a major concept. 
sometimes you do if you're getting too much, but it also can narrow your search a little more than you'd want it to, so I generally keep that unchecked. I don't have a particular subheading I want to include, so I'm going to just include them all. And over on the right hand side, this is where we can combine our searches. So I have my accidental falls and I have impatience. Now I want to combine my search and I want to use and. Remember, I want CINAHL to look for anything that has impatience and accidental falls, not either, but both. Now you click search database. All right, so that brings about 614 articles. That's pretty good. Now we can go back to the edit screen and add peer review and systematic reviews. I'll click on peer review and then I'll find my systematic reviews again and click save. All right, now we go from 614 to 25. Click view results to see what you have. There's quite a few high-level evidence-based studies on the prevention and control of falls in hospitalized patients. And again, you can browse through the ones you want. Read through the abstracts and save the ones that look good. You can save the abstracts by clicking on this little folder icon. And now they are in what EBSCO calls your folder. You can access your folder by clicking on this icon up at the top that says folder. Caution, this folder is temporary. If you close this window or your computer crashes or it times out, you will lose everything you have saved. This is tragic. Ask me how I know. So in order to prevent that from happening, come up to the sign in button and create an EBSCO account. This is free. All you need to do is make a username and password that you can remember and this will work for all EBSCO databases here in the library, not just CINAHL. This is a great way to save your searches. Trust me, it's something you want to do. Another question that people ask a lot is how do I know if I can get the full text in this particular database? One of the things you look for is either the Find It at ISU icon or a PDF. I'll open this article. So here's the PDF. So the full text is available right there. If you didn't see a PDF, you could go to this Find It at ISU link and just follow the links. And it should take you to a full text article, maybe in a different database outside of CINAHL. So this was a very brief overview of CINAHL. Usually I like to spend about an hour or two on all the advanced features of CINAHL, but this should at least get you started, especially when it comes to using CINAHL to find evidence-based information.